G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Man, it is stinking hot. It's about 36 degrees right now. About one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm out here on a bit of a camp mission. I've got my swag, bit of food up there. Gonna be doing a bit of a cook up tonight. Got my esky, I'm actually gonna use that as a bait tank. All my cooking equipment, deck chair, table. Plan is this afternoon, gonna try get some live bait and do a bit of shark fishing. And then uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up on sunrise and I'm going to chase some bass on top water. I reckon this is the perfect conditions for them, for the bass and the sharks. Super humid, hot conditions. So yeah, going to get that cast nut out, cast nut out and um, try to get some life bait. Ideally I'm looking for big mullet, big bony brim. Up to like that 30, 35 centimetres. Oh, I felt a little bump there. Yep, we got something good here. And guess what we've got? Exactly what I was after. Good mullet. They are primo shark bait. Right, we'll let that one go. That's actually pretty good as well. That's my favorite size, that one right there. All right. That's four mullet, two bony rim. Oh, lovely, mate. So the setup, guys, is pretty much just a medium spin setup. 20 pound braid onto 50 pound mono leader running a wire trace nylon coated about 1.2 meters long onto an 8.0 gamakatsu circle hook. I'm just going to pin this mullet like so. Oh, it is way too hot right now. I'm going to try and make a roof with my camp table. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, I needed that, eh? Been about an hour and a half, no interest. No interest, so I'm gonna head to a new spot. Go, go, go. Go, you good thing. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's in some sticks or something. Oh, I think I might. I don't know what's going on here. It's not pulling. I thought I had him. Let's have an inspection on this bait. That's a bully. There's some teeth marks there. Probably tried to set the hook a little bit early. It is not happening right now, eh? So hot. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm just having a snack. Mm. Just want to get one bully. And I'll probably go set up camp, eh? Mm. Go, you good thing. Go, go, go. That's a bully. I don't want to, I'm definitely not going to strike too soon this time. I've got him this time. It's 
probably only a pup. He's got some weight though. There's my leader. Little pup. <laughs> I thought he was pretty big. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Oh, I'm back here in the ankle well. Ew. Yes, got it. Got it out. Oh yeah. Hold on, buddy. I just want to show you. Show you. There we go. Little Brisbane bully. I thought this could have been up around the meter, but he's actually tiny, so went pretty hard. That's cool. All right, let's run back. You. And there he goes. All right, on the board. Took that mullet, and he left me half. That is not very inviting, eh? Might just creep around this side and have a little look. There's no way I'm dragging my swag into that swamp. I think I'm gonna have to go all the way back to where I started and camp there. It actually stinks up here too. But, yeah, that's just not a good spot. Alright, gonna punch it back. Let's go. I really need my shoes for this. I don't think I brought any. Hopefully no cockroaches in here. Literally opened up my cooking crate and there's a bloody cockroach in there. Oh, it's gonna be good. That is gonna be a good sleep. Mission. This is the mission if I've ever seen one. Forgot my shoes. Walking up and down this thing with these rocks is the mission in itself. This is pretty sick. Oh. Mad feed. This will toughen the feed up. Whew. Medium rare I'm going for, let's see how good I go. I haven't cooked a steak in a good, probably six months. First thing, mayo. 
bit of mustard. Sriracha. And a bit of oyster sauce. Like Big Mac sauce, man. Tastes like Big Mac sauce, but better. mushrooms and onion and there we have it steak burger by the river Apart from overcooking the steak, that looks so tasty. And I still have more left, probably do a little one. Mmm, that is honestly give that sauce a go. Flavors. Mmm. That scared the living daylights out of me. I was just sitting down chilling, and a big huntsman ran up my leg. I was like, what's that tickling my leg? Big huntsman spider. Okay, it was about this big. Oh, you can't see that. It was about, it was big. It was big, big. Just hope there's not that cockroach in my sleeping bag or a big huntsman. I'm literally gonna suss it out before I jump in, eh? Not about a huntsman in white swag. Those houses up there on top of the hill would hear me. I'd wake them up. Slept so good. Going the classic this morning hazelnut latte plus a little bit of this coffee as well. That's good. Man, those snags look inviting up there. Just quickly pump this up a little bit more. Then we'll go out. Gonna be throwing one of these D style top water lures. I've never thrown one, but from what I've seen, they've got an awesome action and the bass love them. So let's give them a crack. Let's do it.
right there, that's it. Oh! Got yeah, one more in there, just to see if there's a bass, and I just have to annoy it. Just keep putting the lure back in there. Yep, got it. Yep. Get out. Get out of there. What's this paddleboard doing? Oh, we're doing circle work here. <laughs> yes, first one off the board. I don't have a net, I'm just going to have to pull him in. Come on in buddy. Eehoo! How good is that? Pinned underneath the mouth there. Hopefully I can get that out, I might have to go back to the boat and get my pliers. Little bass on the top water lure. How good is that? See if we can get a bigger one. I didn't want to put my hand in the water for too long with those bullies around. I'll just get that net as well while I'm here. That must be like a little spangled perch, I reckon. That's my guess. No? That is the smallest bass. That's almost the smallest lure. Just shows you how aggressive these fish can be, hey? See you, mate. Come on. Yep, got him. Only a little one again. A bit bigger than the last one, but still a very small bass. But very cool. We're getting a few now. How good is this? low tide right now so I reckon I'm gonna set up pack up camp and then go live bait some bull sharks again that's the plan Oh, it's heaps in there. Little mullet up here, and then we've got a stack of bony brim. Just haven't cast a net in years. Well, I cast a net about eight months ago, and then, oh shit! Boat's floating away. Fire out. Oh. 
far out, man. I know the boys in here are only small. Mostly small, like a metre and a half would be a big one for up here, I reckon. But that was scary. Can't see anything in that water. Here I am getting bait to go chase sharks out here. And I'm swimming out there and it's like 10 centimetres visibility. Pull it up a bit more and go get the net. Then I'll go one more spot. Otherwise, I'm just going to soak these bony brim for a little bit. See how I go. Yeah, good. I haven't had these in a while. I don't really eat noodles, but sometimes I'll bring them with me in case I don't catch a fish. I haven't actually had to eat them yet. Not bad. I'm gonna give it maybe another 20 minutes to half an hour. See how this mullet goes and then I'll probably call it. It's getting pretty hot again. So I've got the, got the uh, table set up, does the job. Not a fish, just winding in the bait. Gonna have to call it, it's almost midday. I've got plans this afternoon. So, let's head back. Aircon pumping. All right, just tied everything down. Oh, it's quarter past 12, and I've got to be at work at five o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot home, have a little bit of a nap, and I'll clean all the gear tomorrow. Um, man, that was a pretty fun trip. Harsh conditions out here. Like 30, what well, my car's reading 34, but it's way hotter than that. I'm in the shade, I'm parked up in the shade, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Next trip, gonna be on the coast 100%. Back to the diving, it was great fun. I got what I came for. I got a bass, we well, got a few bass, and I got one bully, a few missed bullies, a few lost bullies, but um, yeah. Appreciate you tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.